meeting tonight. Uh, thank you for my colleagues in the Department of Modern Languages for helping organize this event and for the students for attending this wonderful event. And most importantly to our panelists who have graciously accepted our invitation to come speak to you about some of the exciting career options that are available to students who pursue degrees in modern languages and literatures. Um, I'd also like to thank Kim Nikolenko from uh, Career Planning uh, <coughs> Services who has had a great hand in putting this panel together. So, uh, <coughs> thanks for uh, back there. Um, so, I'd like to thank you all for coming, and I'd like to uh, tell you briefly about the format for the evening. It's going to be fairly informal. I will introduce uh, each <coughs> panelist individually, and then I'll turn the mic over to them. You guys can speak for as long as you like about your career path. Uh, share your insights about how your uh, time spent at Fairfield University prepared you for your careers, uh, your professional lives after Fairfield University, and how your experiences perhaps studying abroad or your <coughs> skills have made you um, competitive in today's increasingly global marketplaces. So I'm sure we're all looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, after the end, after you have spoken, uh, we'll open the floor up to questions from the audience. I'm sure you all have questions about how you can use some of the skills that you're acquiring now in your core language classes or in your upper level classes uh, when you get out there into the workforce. So we're all looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, we have Zach Gross, and Zach is, Zach is program manager from Simple Smiles. Uh, we have Alexander Pusciolo, who is a business analyst at GE Capital. We have our old friend, Carol Chiodo, who has taught for us in Fairfield in the past, uh, who is at Yale University. We have James Costa, who teaches at Xavier High School. Uh, we have Jennifer Rawlinson, who is a registered nurse and works at St. Vincent's Medical Center. And we have Dave Guzman, who I'm uh, very interested to hear about your personal um, interests and hobbies. So uh, without further ado, we can begin. Uh, with